All right, welcome back to Get Real Guys, a show where we get real with our thoughts on all things concerning life. We're your hosts, Ashley. Junie. Anila B2B. And Junie. And before we introduce our guest to you guys today, make sure to follow and review this podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. And if you hate ads, consider becoming a member of the Dive Studios Patreon where you can access ad-free videos. Is there like a fireplace somewhere? Like, I feel like… Why? The tone that you're speaking in. <laughs> Bedtime right. story. Like. So today we are going to introduce our beloved guest… Corbin of 28 Laboratory. Woohoo! Welcome back. Thanks Wait, for having you, me back. Do you pronounce it laboratory laboratory? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I asked. I don't know. <laughs> you could do. You could pronounce it however you want. Corbin, please introduce yourself again to our listeners. Hi, I'm Corbin of Twenty Laboratory. Um, a producer. I'm, I'm actually terrible at uh, introducing myself at this point because I don't know what to say. And he well, released, and he released, released a new ask single. You to introduce yourself to the audience right now, what would you say? Hi, I'm Ashley Choi. My Korean name is Chebina. I was born on November 9, Dude, 1991. Dude, I don't need your whole resume. <laughs> I don't need your profile like that. Well, you can start with your newest single that you recently released. Oh, uh, yeah. Go check out Dante's Valley. You suck at… By me. <laughs> by Corbin. You suck at PRing it's yourself. <laughs> Oh, that's not my job. That's not my forte. So uh, yeah, go check it out. It's available on Spotify. It's available on uh, Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube Music. It's a great song. Should I talk about it? Should I talk about the song itself? Yeah. The song is uh, kind of about how I was mentally um, during the time off of uh, not releasing music. It's been like almost a year maybe. Mm. Oh, Mike, how long has it been? How long has it been since I've (laughs) released music? Almost a year? Like eight months? Nine months? What's up? 360. Well, yeah, so you were, almost, almost a year. Counting? So, um, Wait, yeah. what? It's been that long? Yeah, I mean… It was hard. It was hard. Because mm-hmm. I, I went through a lot of songs too. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I just had to talk about how I felt. The song is like really, really uh, dark. So if you're going to listen to it, be in the mood. Uh, if you're like, you know, in the car and just trying to have fun, this might not be the right song to listen to. But… <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go on a journey with me, do it. Yeah. Please watch the music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> um, yeah, so go follow him. And apparently more music is in store. Yeah, it's… uh. So again, to kind of keep… Uh, what, uh-huh. What's the word I'm looking for? For me to kind of dive a little deeper into what the song was about. It's, it has to do with… It, it kind of parallels… Uh, Dante Alighieri's uh, Divine Comedy, the po- the poem about Dante's Inferno, and now I'm moving on to Dante Purgatorio. So um, huh? that's how the song is gonna relate to each other. If mm. this doesn't make sense to you, like Peniel, uh, go check it out on Google. <laughs> Google is the best thing to happen Dan- to us. Dante so. what and Dante huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. For- Just go check out the song, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, check out the song. <laughs> Okay. Um, and have you met our new host, Jimmy? No, I haven't. I was just talking to him for like a second over mm-hmm. there. He said he's my neighbor back in the States. So <laughs> that feels good. Yeah. Portland Fellow and Vancouver. Northwesterner. Yes. Yeah. That's Except he stuff. doesn't say y'all. Like yeah. A, and we don't say y'all. We say no. a. 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 He's from Canada. A. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyways, what's been up, guys? Anything new happening this week? Or happened? I I had some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> really liked it. Yeah, it was mm. good. Mm-hmm. Corey, hard hitting yeah. topics, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are talking about chocolate chip cookies. Nothing new for me. <laughs> the thing is, I got to talk to Pinel recently. Mm. Mm. I didn't. I got to kind of catch up with Ashley. Mm-hmm. Um, what's up with you, bro? What's up with me, Junie? Um, been just making music, doing a lot of sessions, and um, just uh, yeah. Just doing, uh, See, we didn't even talk about what you actually do. Oh yeah. So uh, I, I'm an artist as well. I'm kind of awesome. like… Yeah, I, I, awesome. I write songs and I write for others and then I write for myself. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And I am preparing something for myself as well. Right on. And yeah. So I can totally relate to like not being able to release something for almost a year. It's like… Yeah. 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 I, I totally get you. So yeah. yeah. 
I'm at that stage right now and I'm just getting ready for my next release. Happy Word. to be here. Word. As always. Yeah. yeah. Thanks guys for having me. <laughs> I feel like a guest now. But back to you, Corbin. Have you, so anything else that you've been wanting to talk about? Goodness, I don't know. You guys are putting me on the spot. What am I supposed to be talking about? Um, Anything. What have you been up go to? Go check out Dante's Valley. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I've just been working. Again, uh, I have a follow-up song coming up pretty soon here. So that's… I'm trying to finish up the mix and master. Mm-hmm. And um, that's about it. That, my life Ooh, hasn't been that interesting. I have a question for you. Huh. So you're from Portland. Yeah. So what got you to start in this whole music industry? And… What? Very random. It just I started. Um, I just kind of lost track of what I needed to do with my life uh, around junior year mm-hmm. because uh, I, I was hurt and um, no longer valid to really be competitive in any type of sports. Mm. And even at that time, I was just like, okay, maybe I could find a way to get, uh, you know, some kind of scholarship to go to college. Mm. And uh, once that, once I hurt myself, I was just like, okay, what am I going to do with my life? And I started hanging out with people who partied a lot more. Mm. And I started getting introduced to a lot of people working on NPCs. And Mm. I was like, wow, look at that person go on a drum machine. I I was just like captivated by how captivating he was to all the people around him who were just partying. Everybody couldn't take their eyes off of him. And I was like, okay, dude, I need to start making music. And um, that's pretty much how it started. That's dope. Yeah. So it's for attention. <laughs> no, 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 man, I just loved how the drums made me sound. Uh, how how it made me made feel. You sound. How they it made me sound. At parties. <laughs> so would they play it like live on yeah, the drums? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. I've seen a lot of DJs, but like yeah. being on like the do you know oh, like the, the little like the, the MIDI looking thing like the or what MIDI do you call keyboards it? like drum yeah, pads the keyboard, right? The, the, the yeah, 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 yeah. Head right. Oh, yeah. these buttons they light up when they touch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even so know a lot of those on Instagram. Dude, we've talked about this so many times. <laughs> what are you talking about? What sports did you do? I played football. Such I, good I, would, friends. I ran track. I uh, played uh, city league basketball. Ooh. So, and that's about. I mean, that's about everything, right? Why Where did you like, like it's no the off first season? Time pretty much. Here. Where did you hurt yourself? I hurt uh, my hamstring because I never stretch, Ooh. and you guys know that too. I'm very, He's very unflexible hell right mm-hmm. now. Too. Yeah, I, I, I just never took stretching seriously. So for y'all who. Take no. any ta- type of uh, sports or any type of athletic um, endeavors like seriously. You guys should stretch because mm. stretching stretch. is so important. Stretch, stretch. Yeah, you stretch a lot, right? Yeah, I think that's the, the only time. exercise she does. Excuse me, I've been hitting the gym three times a week. Okay, Ooh. Ooh. you should be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a big step. Improvement. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. Take care of yourself. Take care yeah. of yourself, guys. Well, it's take care been- of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or he goes on like four hour walks. So I haven't done that in a while, but yeah, that's because it's so used to be my thing. How yeah, long is that? How long do you go walk then? I I don't know. Like like Long-ish, I can no. give you like yeah. s- like specifically in how long I walk, but like say I start, uh, especially back when I was in two four K. Like I used to live in Pangbe, and I'd walk um, past uh, what do you call that Yongdungpo area. <gasps> so it'd be like whoop. it's like I don't know like. Five kilos. Five kilometers. kilos. Five kilometers. I think it's more. It's probably more than that. If yeah, it's yeah, four yeah. hours. Yeah. 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 One time I walked for six hours and I got lost and um, I had my manager pick me up because I didn't know where I was. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was before like scheduled too, so mm. I, was like, I need to go home. Yeah. I love getting lost. <laughs> it's like, where are you? Oh, Dude, I don't that's the best thing. You guys, that's hey, something that you guys should. I don't know where I am. Come, put, put, come pick me up. We would also like to thank this episode's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an alternative option to in-person counseling. Within just 48 hours of registering, they will match you to speak with a professional from the comfort of your home. There's even opportunities for financial aid for those qualified. You can find it on their website along with the testimonials from people who have also used and loved the service. I believe mental health is just as important as our physical health, but it's really easy to not take care of yourself in that way. Life gets busy, stress builds up, and it all needs a proper release. So if you need a safe place to release your stress and issues, I suggest checking out BetterHelp as a potential option. There are so many different counselors that specialize to suit your specific needs, whether it's anxiety, stress, or depression. And if you want to try a different counselor from the one you match with, BetterHelp lets you switch to a new match for no additional cost. I want you to start living a happier life today. 
As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash get real. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash get real time. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of getting lost that's in a, a country. That's a beautiful transition. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, listeners have anonymously submitted their thoughts, confessions, or questions regarding culture. Culture. Mm. And if you guys would like to know the upcoming themes and also submit your own through the Dive Studios Discord, make sure to follow at the Dive Studios on Instagram and Twitter. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have submission number one from a listener who says… I was raised in the U.S. while my parents are both from India. For a while, I was shy and embarrassed of my culture. I would go to great lengths to avoid showing it in public. I wouldn't fit into Indian friend groups and try to be whitewashed really badly. However, recently, I had a big culture shock in general of how different my life is because of my culture. Instead of being embarrassed, I began embracing the certain beliefs and practices I followed. Mm. A big thing to help this change was getting into K-pop and seeing people from the US or other places travel to where they didn't even grow up, speak the language there, and end up living there. It made me realize how lucky I was to be a part of a culture. I even began learning one of the languages my parents speak to be able to communicate with people who I used to pretty much ignore. Grandparents and distant relatives. Okay, that's it. I love the show. Bye. Bye. All right. Did you so, grow up around like any Asians in Vancouver? Um, or? It, the thing Did about me stop? was… What? Oh, no, no. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the thing about me was when, uh, when, my fa- my, when my family moved to Canada, I was four years old. And from there, I just spent my whole life there. But okay. then I've always had this urge to be friend, like be wanting to be friends with Koreans. Okay. It's. I think it's because of my older brothers. They were already really influenced by the Korean culture. Mm. So I wanted to be like them. So in order to be like them, I had, I thought I had to find friends that were Korean. Mm. And yeah, so my whole life was kind of like that. But at the same time, growing up, you can't, you can't avoid being influenced by Western culture. So it's like a mixture of both. But coming to Korea now, people would think, oh, you're… You're from Korea, right? Like that's all I get. Okay. Like they never expect me to be from somewhere else. Like you do look very Korean. Yeah. So they they're always like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. I, need, I just need to get that. Out yeah. There. I mean, yeah. they always get that mistake. They're like, oh, so you're from Korea? How are you so good at English? I'd be like, <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah, but I am from. Yeah, you know, it's like that. So I've never really thought about it. Have you ever like heard yourself talk? Like <laughs> by, <laughs> on on your, like just like, just, just hey, casually Corey, talking. What you want for breakfast? Today? <laughs> like on on video or just as a recording, just you talking, and then if you close your eyes, I mean, like who do you see? You know what I, I mean? see myself. Yeah, you see yourself. No, but I'll be honest. This is just like a whole different subject altogether. I hate listening to my voice. Right? I think everyone. Yeah, does. it's awkward. Yeah, yeah. Feels weird. I, I avoid listening to myself on a recording or anything. Mm. So unless you're like super into yourself, I guess. You'd be like, yeah, you can be. Self love is awesome. Right? <laughs> I don't hear a Kyopo accent from anyone here, so I kind of do. Really? Yeah, I have a Kyopo really? accent. What's a Kyopo accent? Like, <laughs> really? I, yeah. I I can't pick up really? on that. Maybe I heard I have a Chicago accent. Chicago I had like friends accent? who are like fresh accent? from uh, Russia growing mm-hmm. up. Yeah, they had an accent. Like I could tell, they they obviously. Yeah. But like I I, could, I wouldn't be like, hey, you guys are from Korea because you guys. No, know. when like uh, American people hear me talk, they can tell that I'm not like fully like Wait, I didn't what? grow up in the states. I I, I, really? I wouldn't. Yeah, certain things I say, certain pronunciation with the A. The what? A? I, I like can't, with the A in it. Do you, does Apple. that make any sense to you? Yeah. Um, well, I don't know I, what language I learned first. Instead of saying no, they go no. Ah. Uh, no. Is that is that no. like a Korean thing? I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> no. That noise. Oh. No. And when I get hurt, no. I don't say ow. I say ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. That's <laughs> Korean. <laughs> or like ah sh- <laughs> Yeah. It's more that like, might ah. just be you being aggressive. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways. Ah. I used but to be like this person. Anyone actually say what? ow? Yeah. There are people no. say ow. Oh yeah. I might say ow. Actually. Yeah. You ow. say ow. Ow. 
Ouch. Ouch. I actually Ouch. don't even know what Ow. I say when I get hurt. Yeah. Ah. Ow. He's like, oh, I don't know. What yeah. I think I myself going ash a lot. Yeah. That's super yeah, Korean yeah, yeah. though. That's super right, Korean. Yeah, that's super yeah. Korean. But something about the she… Like, oh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to swear. But something about that… That… C. That C… Mm -hmm. It's super like… It just… It's catchy. That's it's crazy. Catchy? I mean like… If you… Like if you have friends… Like if… Like overseas… Like when mm -hmm. you're young… They would try to copy Korean language… And all they would do is just do the swear words. Yeah. Because it's strong AF. It's so it's intimidating. Strong. Yeah. It's, yeah. The word itself is so strong that… So something I recognized after I came to Korea is that um, Korean curse words hit my ears completely wrong. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. just sounds so aggressive to mm -hmm. me. It's super aggressive. Mm -hmm. And they have like, so many swear words. Yeah. Do they? I, I don't know if they have a lot. But there's just some like go-to words that just don't hit my ears right. Yeah. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm getting used to it now. But yeah at first I was used I to it. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I mean, whatever. It is. What it is. <laughs> yeah. mm. You don't see. I. I don't. Do you guys ever hear me uh, curse in English or in Korean? I barely hear you talking no. Korean. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I. I heard you talk in Korean just a bit while ago, and you sounded perfect to me. I mean, you also Thank use hatturi when you. Yeah, he has a hatturi when he speaks Korean. He has you have hatturi? No, I he don't. He has a hatturi. Oh. Oh. Well, I. I feel like it's getting pretty good. Like, huh? I I feel like I, like your tattoo is getting pretty good. Or no, you're no, no, like my at, Korean like, sounds like, more like, soul. It sounds more city. So soul. It sounds more city boy. City boy. No. This is the Kyopo accent, laughing? guys. <laughs> Kyopo accent. <Yeah. laughs> Anyways, going back to this submission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did you ever like want to kind of escape from the Korean culture or like be ashamed of listening to K-pop and stuff like that? Mm. I was never really like ashamed of listening to K-pop. But I did listen to it for like a little bit. But then it never really like… I never really got like super into K-pop. Mm. I don't know what, what it is. How good was your Korean when you were back in Chicago? Uh, not that good. <laughs> so if, if you heard a <laughs> Korean song, did it resonate with you? Or did you just… I mean, but I don't really listen to lyrics in general. <laughs> so, Me neither. Yeah. What do you listen to? I think I listen to like the beat and the yeah. flow more. Yeah. 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 Okay. The yeah. vibes. The vibes. I, on that. I mean it must be like that for people all over the world listening to K-pop. Right. right. They're like, just vibing. They're just vibing. Yeah. Right. So… That's what I was… The language like, didn't really matter does yeah. it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I was like listen. I was like, yeah I can with the song. No because for me when I was in elementary school, junior high school… I listened to a lot of K-pop and… Uh -huh. I like learned K-pop dances. I did in high school too. But I hated being called a fob. Ah. Fob is like fresh off the boat, right? Oh, yeah. And like when I was younger, I associated that with being a bad thing. Like, you know, some… Like an alien. Like I, I didn't want to feel like an alien. Which I was. But I was like… <laughs> I don't want to be called which a fob. So I purposely avoided like all the fob students. Like I didn't become oh. friends with the Korean Korean students mm. who just flew from… Korea and I purposely try to be more friends with like Kyopo, totally uh. Korean Americans, like not 1.5 generation like me, like first generation. Mm. Um, and yeah, I just always uh. kind of acted like I was never, I wasn't really into Korean stuff. But at home, I would always be watching dramas with my dad and like <laughs> yeah. drawing, watching variety yeah. shows with my family. You get home, you're like, <sighs> <sighs> I can be myself. Korean. Yeah. I was exactly That's like depressing. you, but opposite. Oh. I had a lot of um, foreign… Like just Canadian friends who mm -hmm. weren't Korean. And then I wanted to be friends with the fobs. Oh. Yeah. But that was during when I, I hit my like senior year. Mm -hmm. I started to like… Ha wanting friends. Like wanting to have friends that were Korean. Korean. <laughs> you wanted friends. <laughs> I just wanted friends man. <laughs> yeah. And then that's when I got really into like going in like… Like norebang. Mm. Oh. I, we don't call it karaoke. We just call it norebang right? Mm -hmm. So like going to norebang and like trying like… Korean stuff like actual like Korean food like more Korean food outside not and not at home because yeah. I'd eat it all the time because my mom cooks it but right, right, I'd right. never go out and eat Korean food uh -huh. so like that's when I started getting really into the culture and then watching like you like dramas and like TV shows and then this eventually listening to music Korean music yeah. so this might be off topic but also has to do with culture mm -hmm. shock for me um, so. Around the neck of the woods that you guys grew up in. 
Don't you guys ever like just say hi to people when they like pass by? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If you, you don't do that know all who the time. They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do it first, but if they say hi, then I say hi. <laughs> oh, you never say hi. I don't say it first. That's just Ashley. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if she ignores you on the street. It's, she's not being yeah. mean. That's just. Yeah. I would like <laughs> smile and kind of nod, but I wouldn't be like, "Hey." But like, really? if you you're just walking, having a walk in your neighborhood, and someone's walking their dog or something, and mm. you meet eyes, mm -hmm. don't you want to say hi? If they say hi. Oh, yeah. okay. Damn. Because I… Is it like for you guys… You guys just say hi, right? Yeah. Because yeah. it's you awkward. Like you lock eyes hi, and you're like… Yeah. You can't morning, just ignore like, them. But in Korea, it's different. Yeah. So that's what I want to talk yeah. about. Like right when I first came here… Um, after… Uh, my mom came with me at first. Just so I could get used to it. Right. Because I didn't know anything about the Korean culture. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'd be walking by… I'd be walking to the station. And on my way to the station, I'd always, you know, run into like three or four people. Mm. And I'd always say hi. Mm. And they looked at me like I was insane. Oh, but did yeah. you say like, 안녕하세요? Did you say 안녕하세요 or, like, or hi? Oh, of hey, course I said 안녕하세요. Oh, okay. Okay. That, I was going to say like, <laughs> if you're walking in yeah. Korean, you're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, you might yeah. get a few weird It's like, just… It's that 안녕하세요 might have kind of got them kind of yeah, like… Yeah, they were probably really? thinking like, do I know this guy? Yeah. No, but, no, yeah they I just never responded. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I, I had rude. a few like People that too. Too though. <laughs> like right… They like, don't right want to accept yeah. my… Like, yeah. yeah, I was just trying… No mm. hospitality. Man. Yeah, when I first <laughs> came to Korea… You know in the malls, right? They have the people working at like the makeup like… Concierge or whatever yeah. they're called. I was walking and I met Ice. I was like, oh, now here. And then the group of people I was with, like the trainees, they're like, oh, how do you know her? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yo, I get around. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what? I, I don't know her. <laughs> like, oh, wow, you're really weird. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> he said, hi. That's cute. But, yeah, but like, that's a lot of thing. parents make their babies say hello to everyone, like strangers in Korea. In Korea I've never yeah. had a Korean come up to me and say hi. A baby? A baby though. A baby can't even talk. What are you no, talking about? No, no, you know, like, like, you know, parents would have babies. A baby just gonna get up, get up no, out of like, the shoulder, like, hey! The parents, if they have a baby with you and if you're in front of them, they'll be like, oh, inzahe. Yeah. But then they wouldn't, they wouldn't say hi. That's themselves. when you guys are like super engaged though. Mm. Like, I know what you're talking about. That's mm -hmm. like when like we're in line and like mm -hmm. I'm staring at the baby. I'm like, oh my God, that's a cute baby. Cute baby. That's when the person might be like, oh, say hi. That's but, true. But then the parents teach the kids to say hi to strangers. I think they're just trying to avoid awkwardness. I think no. I think <laughs> you're almost avoid there. I think all confrontation at all costs. I think it's like the parents want their kids to have good behavior. Manners, so if uh, yeah, manners, so if someone says hi to them, it's polite to say hi back. Because mm. usually we we would be the ones who are engaged in the baby. Not the baby wouldn't give a okay. damn about us, <laughs> but we would be like, oh, that's a cute baby, right? That's mm -hmm. how it usually starts. Yeah. Why are we yes. talking about babies? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. 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 Moving on. Wait, you were born in the States? Yeah. You too? No, I was born oh. in Korea. You were born in the States? You were? I was born in Korea. Yeah. Oh, I was born in okay. Korea too. I moved when I was born. So like Peniel, mm. you were born in the States and uh -huh. then you had to come to Korea. Uh -huh. And you've been living like more than 10 years in Korea now, right? Uh -huh. Do you feel like you're a little closer to your family now that you kind of understand the Korean culture? Or mm. Korean language? Um… I don't know if I'm like… I don't know if I like feel close or anything. But it's like I understand like why they did some stuff mm -hmm. like certain ways. Mm. That and then, kind of gone left real quick. But like, <laughs> I don't know if I like my family. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't know if I feel close to them. I don't know if I want to feel close to them. <laughs> no yeah. But I mean… Because I always felt like I was… Close to my family. Like mm -hmm. I don't know if it feels like I'm like any like closer or anything yeah. like that because I'm in it. But I definitely can communicate with them better. Um, and it's like, oh, okay. It's like I see why they did certain things certain ways. Yeah. But that's about it. I start to understand my dad more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why? Being more influenced. Because in, my dad's like a super like… He's like Korean. Korean. Korean, Korean. Like, what do you call like… Traditional. Tradi he's a traditional dude. So like… Very oh, nice. I was about to be like… What, is he like a gonde? <laughs> 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 no. He's uh, not much of a gonde. But like he's just kind of like… Very mutuktukke. Yeah. Uh, he uh, doesn't express a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. So… um, But being here… I kind of like meeting a lot of ajishider or like… You know, sanseinimder or like that. It's yeah, kind of like… Oh, it's a just lot a culture. Of them are like that. Yeah. So I understand him more and like… Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my dad also has influence from Paraguay. Oh, I think he, whoa, yeah. What? My my dad's side of the family, they moved to Paraguay first. Wow. Um, 
And I think he had, I think like college years, I, like he was in Paraguay. So then he mm-hmm. has a lot of influence there too. So oh, wow. it might be a little different for me. Mm. It must have been a little more like Western. A little more, I think he's like a little more open, open-minded. Yeah, open-minded. Mm. But my mom's pretty Korean-Korean. So. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's, I would always like… I would always ask my dad first mm. for something because he's more likely to say yes. Wow. <laughs> but then he'd always be like, go ask Oma. I'm like, Daniel gets Daniel. his ways. Okay, so we're about halfway through the podcast and we're going to take a little breather. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh-huh. So the this is new Corey. Well. But on, breathe, today… Breathe, bro. <laughs> we're going to do a little pop quiz on Korea. We're going to be given a tricky quiz on interesting facts about South Korea. There will be… There will be… Exa- uh, there will be multiple choice. So we can use our deduction skills. Mm-hmm. Alright, give it to us. So this is a pop quiz about South Korea. Question 1. How many islands does South Korea have? A. 6 B. 21 C. 244 D. 3,358 6 I'm gonna say D. I'm gonna say C. 3,000? Uh-huh. You never know, man. crazy? I, I think that's kind of I think I'm over. pretty sure. 3,000 maybe over overboard. That's why I'm going with C. 200 to what? 46? 4? 244. You, you said 6. 3,000. Yeah. You said what? No, she said 3,000. He oh, said, said 6. 3,000. You said 6? Yeah. yeah. How… What are you guys talking about? How about, about? you, Peniel? Well, I think 6 too. But just for the heck of it, I'll go with… 21 then. Okay. Then it's one of We're all just saying one, one of us are right. Someone's gonna get it right. <laughs> Someone's gonna get it right. <laughs> Someone's gonna get it right then. The answer is D. 3,358 islands officially recognized by the Korean Wow. Government. I knew it because recently I went to Mokpo and just in Mokpo they had over a thousand islands. Wait, so they what? what's considered an island? Literally. Even like, that's an island. Yeah. So there you oh, go. That's like a trick what? question. Yeah. That is a trick question. Yeah. 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 That's, That's crazy. 3,000? Over 3,000 islands? Mm-hmm. I thought you meant like an island like that people could live on. Yeah, like me too. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I like go and claim one of them? <laughs> it's already, it's already claimed, bro. <laughs> Alright, they're Korean. <curious. laughs> Alright. Two. Which is not a real Konglish word? A. Haitin. B. Ontekte. C. Pobori. D. Oba headed. Okay, I. I the didn't way even, Diane I, pronounces these Korean words is so cute. Oba headed. <laughs> Wait, on TikTok. Oh, sorry. Pobedi. That's just the name of a brand. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, I mean, she said overhead, right? Yeah, overhead. Overheads I, and overhead. But I've never overhead. heard a Korean use overhead. No, Me I neither. have. Overhead. If you watch sports, you know it. Oh. But okay. I'm, yeah, I was. Assuming it has something to do with oh, sports. Oh, but they say it differently. How do they don't say it. It's say not what? a real Korean word. They go like Obae <laughs> Obae de. Obae de. Well, yeah, she might just be thing. pronouncing it weird. Obae <laughs> de. <laughs> I'm gonna go with untekte. I don't know what that is. No, no, that, that, no that's, that's a thing. What? That's, you know like untacked <laughs> concerts during COVID? So it's like not, not no contact. Like oh, untacked. Oh, sorry. I'm just super that's not super like… super… Korean, Korean. Yeah, on tick too. I didn't even know what like that was. High teen drama. Yeah. High teen is it? Yeah, that then, exists. Yeah, Burberry. Burberry. That's just the name of yeah, Burberry. Yeah, Burberry. Yeah, yeah that's that Burberry's a a brand. So. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go with Burberry too. Okay. Answer is D. Oba head. Oba head. Yeah. See, guys, you guys. What the yeah, f- Oba head. <laughs> 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 ah, Burberry coat. Yeah. Oh really? Oh. I knew that. Yo, but... I've heard my mom say it too. Yeah. What am I doing? That's like a super like… Yeah. Isn't it's it like, Pabari? Like, Pabari. Pabari. That's Pabari man. Yeah, but, no! <laughs> no but Pabari is the reason why. Because Burberry um, yeah, coats are of, like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah so what? What's up? <laughs> no. Is this, is this the energy Pabari or Pabari? No, no, like, this so, is the first time so I this is what it's like kill. sitting Pabari? like like this. So actually, I get it. Pabari. I get it. Pabari coat, Pabari coat, Pabari coat. Yeah, trench coat. Pabari. Yeah. So, because Burberry used to make a lot of trench coats so back in the day. So what's overhead? Overhead is like. <laughs> no, yeah, but overhead, overhead, like overhead mics, overhead like overhead kick. I just had like yeah. a. I just assumed that was bad. like in sports or something. I never heard it though. Yeah. Okay, moving on. So who got it right? 
Nobody. No one. <laughs> <laughs> we all guessed Furberry. I love it. Okay. Which of these four titles is a real K drama title? A. Sometimes it shines. B. The pine tree sword. Wait, what? The English title? No, this is hard. Shoot. I don't know Wait, the English ones. The pine tree sword. C. Seduction of wife. D. Jump kick five. Wait, what? Wait, can I just say, isn't it ironic that we don't know the English titles? <laughs> like, we all know the Korean ones, right? Wait, is that why please, you guys are tripping? Please repeat. Sometimes it shines. B. The pine tree sword. C. Seduction of wife. D. Jump kick five. <laughs> See, I don't watch any K drama. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think it's three. Ane Yuho, Seduction of Wife. That that was a popular drama. What the hell is a Pine Sword? If there's a drama pine, called Pine Tree Sword, sword I'm watch sword. that Sonamu, right away. Sonamu Gum. Sonamu Gum. Sonamu Gum. Sonamu Gum. Pine Sword. <laughs> Wait, what's the first one? So what's real? Sometimes what's real? it shines. That's definitely not 가끔은 it. 가끔은 빛이 난다. 빛이 난다. 빛이 난다. <laughs> and the um, last one was um jump Diora kick oh wait what wait no isn't jump there like the jibung turko whatever high kick? but that's not jump kick high kick five oh, I don't think they would call it, it jump kick five I think they call wait, it high kick turko high kick high kick is it just high kick high kick through the jump roof kick five. through the roof <laughs> okay so we're we're picking the real one out yeah, of the four. three let's Th go with three okay. What's, the, what's three? Can I, I hear? Seduction of white. Is that oh yeah, that's it. That's is real. That oh. Okay. Yeah. Yay! What were the other three? You just made them up? Wow. I didn't Pine know tree there sword? Was a drama called Ane Yuho. <laughs> it was the really popular it's, one. Yo, it had like… <laughs> it had like 40% rate. So 40%… Nobody got it. No, <laughs> like legit. Like… Actually, I was you want to so try shocked. that again one more time? I was so shocked when I heard this. They had 40% of Koreans watching it. She put the… Forty percent. She put a mole on her under her she eye. She acted like she, she died. A new person. Is that like the most important part? Yes. Of the song? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Threw a mole on her face. No one yeah. recognized. <laughs> so just imagine what? like if, if no. Ashley like put like a dot here. Yeah, and you're like, who are you? Who's oh, that? A new host. Where's like, Ashley? What the, yeah. What happened Crazy. to Ashley, guys? The concept like, is wild. <laughs> she just turns around and puts up no more. Where the f did Ashley go? What the. F <laughs> that's funny. Wait, what? That's that's worse than Superman's disguise. I know. Glasses and then, but she's like, I'm a one up you. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> All right, next question. Which country is smaller than South Korea? A. Greece. B. Belgium. C. Laos. D. England. I don't know my geography. They yeah, all I seem a lot. I think they're all like similar though. <laughs> England is much South Korea is like really small in diameter. Yeah. Yeah. Like England it has to be bigger than South Korea for sure. Laos. Yeah. Oh. Dude. Korea's no, no, no. <laughs> Korea is good. smaller Laos? than Oregon. Yeah. That's I know. Korea's it's crazy. bigger than Laos, right? Laos is probably you. bigger. Laos is… Right? I don't know like, how big I Laos is. I think Laos is kind of like stretched out. It's kind of long, right? What was the other one? Greece. <laughs> Belgium. How do you Greece, Belgium, England, Laos. I feel like Greece, Greece is bigger, no? Yeah, it has to be Greece, right? No. Wait. Greece. Greece? Greece. Okay. The answer is… B. Belgium. <laughs> Belgium? Oh. Belgium smaller? Okay. What? Really? Wow. Don't ask me about geography. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, I'm terrible at it, Belgium. I guess. Last question. Okay. According to 2013 statistics, how many heads of cabbage… Basically oh. because of eating kimchi. Did the average Korean person consume in a year? An average person? One person? A. Six. Six. B. Thirteen. C. Twenty-six. D. Thirty-one. In 2013. So it's not right now. I'm sure it declined. Well then… Thirty-one. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say six. thirty-one. Yeah, it's irrelevant because it's not my… No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 31 heads of kimchi? Yeah. In a, in a year though. That's in a, a year? Yeah. Dude, I, you have kimchi with like everything Everything. Though. In Korea? I know. Yeah. So 31. <laughs> but I do you eat that much kimchi? I do. Maybe. Wait, Can how you? much… How many servings is one head of… One like is one much, cabbage. Like this big. It's, it's like not this that big. big. It's like Dude, this big. Dude, a head of cabbage is like this big. It's pretty big. It's, it's like this big. Wait, the whole cabbage? Yeah. yeah. But think about it. When in it's sliced year? up… 
Wait, average person? Oh, true. Because we also eat kimchi chicken. Kimchi and chicken. They, like, and like all yeah. this. Throw stuff. that in there. No, because I'm thinking of when my mom makes kimchi. Like she does it like three three times a year. Yeah. And mm-hmm. when she when she makes it like just one time, it's yeah. like… Tons. But then also when we go eat at restaurants, they give us a little bit. Yeah, but well, at it's home, about, I eat a lot at least. But it's don't just think about the side dish. It's like ingredients too. In and you got to think about it. Most people are eating at home. Yeah. And also… But there are people that don't eat kimchi too. Maybe. Do you eat kimchi? No, there isn't. <laughs> Not in Korea. At least. I love kimchi. I don't, I don't eat. Can't live oh, you don't eat kimchi? Yeah, that's cool. You're crazy. Wait, three? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I can like eat it, but… <laughs> we're taking your Korean card like, away from you. You don't like… <laughs> you don't like gag over it. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Cool. What, were, what was the other two choices? 33? 30, 30, 31. 31. 31. Ah, 26, 26 or 31. Yeah, I mean, 26 right? is fine too. But. I'm gonna go with 26 because I feel like 31, they just kind of put in there. They're like, was, oh, they're gonna assume a lot 26? of people eat it. Uh, 31. 26. But it's actually 26. What was the one before that? 13? 6, 13, 26. So I'm going with C. And, I'll just go big and say 31. Mm. I feel like it's 31, but I feel like they're also tricking us. So I'll 26. Say 13. Okay. What? That I feel is, stupid. That <laughs> is so… Someone's not doing their research correctly. Yeah, yeah. And that you see Ashley's face? So wrong. Ashley There's was no like, way. I told you. <laughs> there is no way that you only eat six head of cabbage. That's crazy. No In way. a year. I told you. I what are you talking you. about? <laughs> How many people, people do don't need it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There are people who don't have access have to kimchi never, either. But, how do you not have access to kimchi in Korea? Because if you don't make it yourself, you have to buy it. But some yeah, exactly. people can't even afford to make it. Okay, I don't make my own… I don't buy cabbage and <laughs> like make my own kimchi. I know, but kimchi can be Are expensive. Are you sure? I thought that's why you were always busy, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is kimchi expensive in Korea? It's expensive overseas, but… No, it's not expensive in Korea. Not expensive right? in Korea, right? Yeah, yeah I, it is. I got my hookups, man. I never buy my kimchi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we like, I'm so done talking about this. Oh, I don't, man. This I don't is know so if I boring. believe <laughs> this stuff. This is hard. Okay. All right. Submission number two. I'm Indonesian, but I've been living in Germany since I was nine. And it's already mm. been 16 years now. I've never really had a problem adapting to life here. But there is one thing I still can't get used to. That is seeing people lying around naked in public on a sunny summer day. If you go to the beach or even a park in the city, sometimes you would see some people completely naked lying on their stomach, thank God not on their backs, to sunbathe. Moreover, people would just go past them as if you were completely normal. I think that is one thing I'll never get used to even if I were to live here until I'm a granny. Wow, so Germany, you guys have it like… I want to go. Yeah, that's… <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but people do this in America too. What, what are you talking about? We no. don't they lie don't... around like completely Yeah, naked. I've never seen it. Only like, like nude they, beaches. They'll lay down and then they'll like untie like the back of but their… But they they're not talking about that, take man. The I think they're talking about like completely yeah. they're naked. Completely they're they're, they're naked. not wearing panties either. Oh. <laughs> very, that's very why they they the the too. <laughs> Just, Yeah. That's why they said, thank God it's on their stomach. Oh, okay, because if no. they were lying on their back, you would see everything. Like, we have nude beaches in Canada, but like, really? I've never, I've seen... never been to a nude beach. I've never really? Have you been? Either. No. Okay. Wait, why did you sound so surprised that he hasn't gone there? Uh, oh, no, no, I was just like, oh, really? Like, no, because I, I seem like, like somebody like, who'd like nude beaches. No, I mean, like, nude, <laughs> I thought there would be more nude beaches in, in the States. <laughs> I was like, I've right. never been Have to a nude beach. like, really? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> 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 Trying to adapt, man. Trying to adapt. <laughs> but no, yeah. Hmm. But the ones we had were like really like small. So like only people that knew about it would go. Okay. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's a question like about how do I get used to it? It's a question. Yeah. Like yeah, this person is just about… Can't yeah. get used to that. Hmm. I think like European countries… In general, a little more free when it comes to nudity. Nudity, because yeah. even when you watch a lot of European films, they just like it's just hanging and like I was so shocked. What's hanging? Like, hold up, hold up. Like, we can't just skim by that word. Hanging? You know, like what's hanging? You know, <laughs> I don't that's, know. That's why that sounds asking. totally specific oh to me. What's hanging? Like just everything. You know, like your arms. Yeah, that too. Okay. But right. um, I remember when I first watched like. What European are you watching? Films. Just, just 
not even those kind of films, just regular films. Really? But what kind of films are you telling? What, 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 what are they're just just those open. kind of films? Yeah. They're so just, mean. That's what I've noticed. <laughs> they're so mean. Even if it's like American film, even if it's like a very sexual film, let's say like Fifty Shades of Grey, you don't actually see the guy's ding dong, right? Right. But in European films, it's no, just like… Some, some rated R movies in the States show it. I've never seen someone's… I, 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 oh I've yeah. Seen Oh yeah, I have. They show… Forgetting Sarah Marshall? I remember that movie. I never… It was like Fight a Club. comedy. Fight Club, yeah. Mm. Oh. Well, wow, I really did not his? want to picture that. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to watch now. <laughs> 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 write it down. Write it all down. Anyways. Um, I don't think I would be able to go. But I but. feel like… Mm. If you like… I mean like you're not, you might not get used to it. But if it's 10 years… Or how long have they been there? Nine years. Oh, since nine. She's 16. 16. So it's seven years. Oh, seven. You, wow. You're still not used to it? I feel like I would have gotten used yeah, to it. Yeah. Th- I think I'd get used to it. <laughs> like I feel like I would have gotten used to seeing it. I don't know if I would do it. Right. Mm. But I feel like I would have gotten used to like seeing it. Yeah. I mean we have bathhouses oh, in Korea years. too. Like What's a bathhouse? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys go to bathhouses? No, no. I can't. Never. I'm scared to go. Why? It's just weird. It's just I weird for me. you made the right choice. Yeah. I think bathhouses are weird. Yeah. And like going with friends, like I can't That's even do more that. Weird. Yeah, I can't do that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's I different for girls. Yeah, like I don't wanna see my friend like naked, you know? Yeah, I don't see I don't wanna see anything <laughs> hanging. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean if I went with like <laughs> that, I'm just quoting Ashley. Okay, now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but if I went with like the friends for like seven years, then I think I would get used to it. <laughs> but <laughs> You know? Yeah. On By year the, seven, you'll go. On huh? year seven, you'll go. Is that what you're saying? No. no, no. Take seven years. So like if I was like going to a sauna <laughs> for like seven years, I think I'd get used to yeah. it. But mm-hmm. um, I I like avoid them because I don't want to see anything hanging. <laughs> so, <laughs> By the way, have you guys ever ran like topless outside? How did Why? hanging… When it's like hot out. Me like when too? you go… No, not you. Oh. <laughs> These like, guys. The guys. Um, I don't run outside. I just I'm always on the treadmill. I don't have the body to run. It half didn't naked matter outside. in the states. I remember like everybody in Oregon. Yeah. Oh, in the states, no. Yeah, I used to run didn't. with our shirts off. Mm-hmm. I didn't do cardio. In Canada, yeah, I they never do did that. cardio. Oh, well, I mean that's another thing. Like I used to run outside with my shirt off. Oh, yeah, you in can't Korea? do that. People here. thought I was crazy. You in Korea, do, my members even told me like you can't do that. I'm Wait, like, dude, it's out. hot out. Time I think out. it's illegal in Korea, right? Where Where would you run though? Right outside my like practice area. Like practice oh room, okay. Yeah. So not in like the Hangang River. No no no. Just oh, like… That, that's like kind of dangerous. Yeah that's, that's yeah, I mean, kind of I, weird, I know yeah. now not to do it. Yeah. But back then I was like what's the problem? Right. I've seen… And it has seen nothing to do with Hangang. me like thinking that I have a nice body. Mm-hmm. No you're just, just like, so hot. natural. It's yeah. hot. Yeah it's yeah. hot as hell. Yeah. It might be illegal to run. I don't know. Oh is it not illegal? I don't know. Maybe it's looked down on? Yeah. I've never seen it though. Indecent. Yeah. They're like what are you doing? We don't need to see that. Same with eating on uh, public transportation. Subways. Yeah. Buses. I used to do it all the time in America but… I I didn't know you can't take in uh, coffee Coffee. into subways and buses. Even taxis. Oh you can't do it? Subways is okay. Buses is not. Really? What? Subways Subways is like… Even subway it has like a little thing where… It's like an animation thing that just just going on. But especially right now you can't… I mean, yeah, you're to, yeah, have yeah, mask on. It, so. anyway. Have you guys ever seen a person without a mask these days, like on a subway? Never, never. No, I haven't never. taken the subway in a while. Yeah. Just, really? Yeah. Anyways, I like bathhouses though. I have so many memories at bathhouses with my mom because it was like our weekly tradition. Mm. Well, I mean, that's it's like a daughter, go. it's like mother and daughter. Like, no, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to see my dad naked either. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I don't know if I'm okay with that either. You my know, dad scrub his back. You know, he scrubs your back. I don't want to see my dad naked. I don't want to see him see me naked. Yeah. Either. <laughs> Yo, my dad didn't give me a choice. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? what? I should probably finish that yeah, thought. Yeah. <laughs> you should really finish that right now. That's dangerous. <laughs> well, <laughs> what's going on? You yeah. need my dad's not to weird. Talk to. Okay, so <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Um, every morning before I go to school, um. He'd he'd be getting ready to get go to work. Mm. And he just walks out of the shower and he just always 
Oh okay. Oh yeah. But I mean, that's that's also probably because he's used to like going to like sauna and stuff. You Maybe. Know? Right. It's just. Natural. I mean, I didn't think much of it, but again, like me, I wouldn't do that. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Did you guys ever like getting out of the shower, walk around the house like naked? Well, now I do because yeah, I'm, yeah. Right. Right. No, I but, like living, living when you used to live with your family. No. No. No, no I stopped when I was like in sixth grade or something. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I always had at least like how boxes you had on. that in the back of your mind in sixth grade. Or like I a see. towel? No, no, boxers, boxers. Oh, boxers. That's on. different though. Yeah, I would always. Take yeah, I like would take the boxers. boxers. Yeah, true that. I would walk around in like my boxes, but just completely hanging. That <laughs> <laughs> hanging. Okay. All right, okay. moving on. The keyword moving hanging. On. Today's keyword hanging. That's yeah, for real. Hanging. <laughs> Hanging. Yo, that's it. We got it. No. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be hanging with him, but… All right. Okay. Um, um, I'm a fresh college graduate who just got accepted for my first job. And I'm about to start on Monday. Do you have any culture shocks? Culture shocks from the very first job as an adult? And any advice on how to not make my own employee life miserable? I can already think of 96 things that will go wrong on my very first day. I guess we can say I am anxious about it, especially since it's a face-to-face job and I've been in lockdown in our house for more than a year now. Mm. Hmm. Culture shocks from jobs. Well, I mean, more than like a job culture shock, it was more of like… That's when I got to know Korea's culture. So it was just like… Not… Job specific. It was just culture shock. Yeah. Mm. Was it hard for you guys to get used to like the whole hambe hube thing? Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. Of. For sure. And I even actually, like… Yeah. No I accidentally called… So we had a sangmunim in my old company. Uh-huh. I don't know what you would call that. Just… I don't know. Like a CFO maybe. Not Very, even a CFO. Yeah, but like… Just someone just like someone upper, high up. Yeah, upper management high up. person. And I called him… By accident I called him sangmunom. Oh, <laughs> and this wasn't like oh, oh. to like you know yeah. I wasn't trying to beef with him. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I continue to call like talk to him like like oh 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 and, right okay yeah yeah yeah. And I didn't do the whole. You know, like, ninety degree, degree bow. Ninety degree bow. Yeah. I just kind of went low. Yeah, and I got I got grilled for that, and but I never did it ever like after that I never did that. But that's about <laughs> it. Someone knows. Someone, 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 someone episode. <laughs> you just said like that? No, yeah, Sangmun Nom. Like, but see, that that's more of like I didn't know the words. Yeah, so yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. But then I continued on talking by going like, oh. And you're not yeah. even like using oh, like uh, like honorific for me, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Sangmun Nom, Annyeong. Yeah, I said Annyeong. I said Annyeong to him too. And God. Yeah, just like, you just, just yeah, he's like, 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 Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh bring it in. like, <laughs> 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 bring it in, man. like, 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 I like, 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 and I didn't even have to like interview because they all worked there. Mm. And um Oh wow. No, but I just I, I, I did like um what do you call the front desk work. Mm. Oh okay. and I'd help out every once in a while when they're doing like PT and stuff. But yeah, I got fired. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> uh, that that's a story. I don't know if it's fit for this show. Like I don't know if I wanna talk about it like that, but okay. It wasn't for any good reasons. I'll be honest. It's it's my fault for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, it's his fault. This is the thing. So the manager was also a homie of mine, uh-huh. and uh, we just kind of you know we did some stuff, All right. some unsavory things. Then um, yeah, but I grew up after that, right? So I made some poor decisions in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Corey. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so were there any like cultural shocks? From no, your no, job? no, 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 no. Just, just. I kind of. Did you have something? Uh, you go, you go. I just, I, um, after being a, like becoming a server, like serving at restaurants, I started becoming really nice to servers afterwards. Because mm. like, I realized that like people just treat you like crap sometimes, mm. right? Just because you're a server, you're not the person who makes the food. You're the person who brings the food. Mm. So, but you, 
But as a server, you have to take in all the the, the complaints. Mm. Oh, this tastes bland. This is too salty. All that. And um, yeah, so after that, I, I kind of switched my brain up. And every time I go to restaurants, I'm always like, oh, thank you. Like, how's your day? And if I do that in Korea, they're kind of like, what's with this guy? Did you ever want to just like lash out? Be like, dude, time to learn to make your own coffee then. When I was in, when I was a server? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had a, a lot of episodes. Huh. Yeah. I don't Did you even, ever get in a fight? Like a verbal fight. Not verbal a fight for sure. I've always like I've one time I don't I'm just gonna say it, but um yeah. Mm. There was a time where um they called the manager. Okay. And the manager wasn't On around. You? And our restaurant didn't our restaurant's manager wasn't always available. So the longest server used to be like the manager of the restaurant. So that was me. Mm. I was there for about three years working there. So they call up the manager and I'd be like, I'm the manager. What the fuck are you gonna do, right? Oh. And they're like, oh, what is this? And then they like bash me on Yelp. And then the <sighs> boss lets me know. And then I'm just like, he didn't fire me. I told him what happened. And he was just complete. That person was completely just being a racist. Yeah. Wow. Just because oh, you're at a goodness. Japanese restaurant. Like uh. I used to work at a sushi place. So uh-huh. being a server at a sushi place, they would… um, You get those questions like… um. It's just being… They're just being ignorant. But at the same time… It kind of like… It sucks to hear. Like when… Mm. They go to a Japanese restaurant and they go like… Ni hao. Or like… Oh. You know? It's just stupid. Like they're just… They're just ignorant about it. And then… Right, 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 but… Right. When they cross the line and then they become very racist towards you… You're like… Hey. Like, get the hell out of here. Right? Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. So this was this in the States? It was in Canada. Oh, in Canada? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. No matter what culture or what country… There are always going to be… Rude, Biggest. ignorant customers. Yeah. yeah, dude, I got yelled at for speaking and like talking on the phone in English by an old man on a subway in Korea. Yeah, he uh, wouldn't, they, and he was trying to like not let me off the train. Whoa! And this was when I was not very good at Korean either. That's. So I was like, dude, like, and that's it. Kind of connects to what I was gonna ask you, you guys, if you guys worked uh-huh. in Korea, mm. like, yeah. in in like the service industry, mm. uh-huh. and if you got if you got in a confrontation. Mm. And you had to talk in Korean, right? Would you guys be okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, do you guys think you guys think you could hold your own in Korean? I don't I think, think I'll so. be able to say everything. That was, yeah. I mean, like, so if you had the choice, would you be able to? Oh no, just just the fact that I can't. Oh right, right. Like right, just right. in my mind, I wouldn't be able to make up the words. Oh. Yeah, like that quick. That's kind of what happened to me, especially yeah, back then. It sucks. I couldn't speak Korean yeah. that well. I was like, dude, there's so much that I want to tell this guy. Yeah, but you can't. But then like, it's just like all I could think of is curse words in Korean. Yeah. <laughs> and that that accomplishes nothing. Yeah. Right? You just it's not like I'm going to get in a fist fight with an old man. Exactly. So, yeah. that It just it made me think about that. Yeah. I was like, damn. If I worked in Korea and somebody was being a douche… I think… What would I do? Mm. Like, I what can I you do? Get yeah. into a verbal argument in Korean? You can now though, right? Now Even you now, I don't know if I'd feel like… Fully comfortable, just like you know, saying my piece. I, I don't. Oh. I'm not trying to just like word vomit. I, I want to get my point across if I'm yeah, having right, an right, argument, right, right. but I can't get my point yeah. across like that. In just Korean. clean, like a lawyer. Yeah. I know, don't need boom. to just cuss and like yell at you. That yeah. accomplishes nothing. Mm-hmm. That's not gonna accomplish anything. But yeah, yeah. you can, right? Ashley's pretty good at Korean. I mean, I am, but when it comes to like arguing, or whatever, I'll probably be like, "근데." What was that? That yeah. wasn't even a word. Started <laughs> 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 making up words. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. I, I I'll, yeah. and I'll probably go over it after in my head in the shower. I'm like, oh, that's I what I should have said. Yeah. Dang Damn. It. But never in the moment. Yeah. I would have won the argument for sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, yeah. Well. <laughs> Um, it is time to wrap up the show. Thank you, Corbin, for joining us today. Oh, thank you for thank having you. me over. Like, I have a fun time every time I'm here. So, thank you. Had fun hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say had fun hanging? <laughs> we yes, had, yeah, fun. we all had fun hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Did you have, <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, you have, you have help me. Dude, uh, I love hanging, bro. <laughs> yeah, I love hanging. <laughs> love um, it. Do Corbin, it all the time. Anything <laughs> upcoming you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. Just… Same thing. Just go check out Dante's Valley. Uh, appreciate the support. And um, would love to be back again. 
it's always fun. I, I can't even tell like when we're about to be done because I just I'm having fun talking to you. Talking. So yeah. And keep hanging. Keep hanging. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us. Thank you guys for hanging with us too. If you want to watch the video version for free, full episodes will be up on youtube.com slash dive pods. Make sure to follow and review this podcast, please. And thank you for listening and see you guys next week. Bye. All right, let's go. Ah! Hi guys. Did you guys like the video? Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you never miss another.